Why are you bothering me?
Then I suggest. Yes? Managed to come after all. I see you brought friends. You brought some of your own as well. Ha! Indeed I did. I foresaw that you might need help, so I arranged a distraction. Big words from such a small human. But I know why he brought you here, and you shall regret his choice. Enough of this talk, Joggy. Let's do what we came here to do. And you shall all die. I think I'll need time to sort things out. Thanks for what you did. Whatever your intentions might have been. I just need time. Yeah, what do you want? This thing with Joggy. I... is there something else? Yeah, what do you want? This thing with Joggy, is there something? Your choice.
Got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of the synthesizer? How impatient can one person be? You must have driven your mother mad. All that gurgling and fussing, you know. You remind me of someone else I knew. Oh, <laughs> very funny. Is it my fault that some people are so easily annoyed? Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, Andor Vex was his name. The f No, you wouldn't have. Sometimes... Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much. I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would see... Oh yeah. You know, if you keep interrupting, I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably... Grant has us hauled on... Of course he did. Haven't you been listening? Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free... Grant decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. Finally, Grant has enough of Andor. Maybe Andor hit something sent... Everyone panics, and I run, barely making it to change the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. Well, now that's the ingratitude of youth for you. I relate an exciting tale, and do I get thanked for it? Anyway, go on. Something on your mind. Oh. Jolie, may I have a moment? There's something I wish to speak to you about. Yep, I figured it was only a matter of time until we had the whole come back to the order discussion. Well, I guess there's no avoiding it now, so let's get it up. I know you have issues with the order, but you are a Jedi, Jolie. You command the Force. Without the guidance of the Council, how can you avoid falling to the dark side? Well, I've managed to avoid it the last 20 years or so. Besides, light side, dark side, don't mean the same to me as they do to you. I don't see it absolutely. I want to stop Lamech as much as anyone. But I don't have to join the Order to do it. Look at Karth, or Candorus. They're with us in this quest. They are Jedi. Capacity for good or evil, like the Force itself, is in all living creatures. Belonging to the Jedi Order, or the Sith, or any group, won't change with the law and the core. I see you were quite adamant. No doubt you've had ample time to think on this during your long seclusion. I guess it was foolish of me to think I could sway your position so easily. Yeah, I'm old and stubborn. Thank <laughs> you. 
your help. And Laura, of all the people, how did you even know I'd left Kashik? I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunri. But I heard the Salkaf mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? Oh, it's horrible, Jolie. Sunri has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunri isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Allura. Where's Sunri now? Sunri's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Don't worry, Allura. respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Why can't the cell have Like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from. You saved my wrinkled butt more than a few times as well. The case is a complete frame. -up. There aren't any witnesses. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Alasa there that night, but it's not what you think. I, uh. It was going what? Maybe, but let's look at the. Alasa was brutal. My war injuries make it difficult. Further! Obviously, the Sith planted the gun. Hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the cell cat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I want my arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. 
guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The cellcast already did that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with Hawthorne. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arvid... Very well. I said, once you've gotten enough evidence to go to... Defending Sunry now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunry comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunry running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible. Just bare. Yeah, I'll tell the court Sunry left before the shot went off. Hmm, I guess this is what they call now. Was there anything else? Well.
What? You, Jedi. I hear you are investigating the Sunry murder trial I wrote. This case is not at all what it appears to be. The many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They've both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. No, of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common? You would have to be. <laughs> Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Defending Sunri now, huh? It doesn't. There normally don't know anything. Anything else you wanna? Well, okay. If you need anything else. You with the Salkath? You here to? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alas's room always, of course. Kept the... I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although, if you think her Sith Master didn't know, <laughs> you must be fooling yourself. I was in my room, minding my own business, with the latest copy of Pazak Weekly, checking out the listings for the big tournament that's going to be held here soon, when I heard a blaster shot. Being still alive, and therefore smart enough not to stick my head out immediately, I didn't go out right away. You can't tell me that someone who was running like that, and he was pretty fast for a cripple... Yes. Sure. And you be... Yes. Sure. Got something on... Oh, I get it. Chucky Kun Salka. John Amuli Rapa Grupo. Glooper on heat one a G Sarkat Agi in Kotune, Glooper Mulira, Chuna Mulira, Tonk Glooper Kipa, Nonku Nexit Abon. Glooper Hyun Tung Chi Wi Ita, Bola Un Chikne Mulira Glooper, Kon Muli Slimo Pui Wanga Kun Biskin, Glooper Kipa Nik Chalora Kun. Grupor Chi Ita Kanki Chana Kirikon Grupor Nibo Jimata Grupor Tang Hi Wama Ji Sarkat A Grupor Yon Tung Chi Wi Ita Bola Grupor Kimba Grupor Chi Ita Kanki Chana Grupor Tang Hi Wama Lupor yon tung chi wi lupor kin lupor picha ge borang turang lupor wangki yuma patmal yau lowi 
I hear you've been appointed. What? Don't insult us both. Sundry's... Now, now. Yes. After all these years we've been together, he just... just dropped me like that. He started... But even though I'm sure that harlot was only used... Maybe the Sith woman. But even though he cheated on me, inside he's still the man I've loved. That was a long time ago, in a war far, far away. He's changed now, settled down. Just please, prove his innocence. This is all a plot to discredit the Republic. It's possible. I haven't seen Sunri since I crashed on Kashyyyk. A man can change a lot in that time. The man I knew could never have done this crime. Find the real evidence. That's all I...
It is an honor to see justice served, and I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. The man I saw leaving, Sunri, probably left after I heard the blaster shot. The guilt of the accused is apparent even this... What did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> A very obvious point, Your Honors. The <laughs>
Blue Paul the Rodian, you were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw Sonri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? This is clear then that Sonri left the room with the Sith El. Don't do it, Lupo. Lies! Slander! I object! You, Elora, are Sunri's lo- He was crippled in that war. Yes. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. He was a good man, but his injuries pained him terribly. But he always held on, always persevered. I don't think he could have beaten her or anything like that. But at last, I, I just don't know. I wish Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunray? You fought in wars against the Sith M? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic needs its heroes. Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Of course I hate them. Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing me. Pure politics. Were you in a loss of. Well, yes, I, I knew she was a. I was. An obviously full story. I. I. Ah, what's the use now? I had been having an affair with Alasa, it's true. But I realized my mistake and I was going there to end it, but I did not kill her. You were having an affair with a sin. No, I. I. <laughs> Of course she was. Why? I don't know. The medal had gone missing some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. It's possible the Sith had stolen it and had it planted on the body. Supposition, Your Honors?
I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Witnesses saw some refle- I am confident that any informed observation- <laughs> Well, that doesn't mean a thing. He is Objection! The Sith would not leave the medal of her killer clutched in her hand. The Republic will attempt to have him free, Delora. I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry. Defended him well enough. I wish we had time to look into matters more fully, but wishing is only useful for them. What's done is done. The Republic will likely appeal the matter of it. Sunry was a good man. Uh, I don't want to talk about I've got some other good man. Oh, I get it. How can I help? Can I suggest?
This thing with Joggy, is there s- Your- Yes? Yes? Thank you. 